Hey everyone, hope you are doing good. In this video, we are going to see dangling pointers. If at all you don't know what is pointers and you don't know what is dynamic memory allocation, please do go and watch the video which I have done on pointers and dynamic memory allocation. And that link I've given in the description, you can go and watch it, right? And because like I'm not going to give much information about how to allocate memory dynamically here in this video. So you go and watch that and then you come back here so that you can understand it easily. Right. In my previous video of pointers and dynamic memory allocation, I've informed you how to allocate memory dynamically and how to use it. Now with this, we are going to see how to release the memory which is allocated during the runtime. Why should I release the memory? Maybe that question may come in your mind, right? So if at all, any memory that is allocating, allocated in the stack part of my process map, right? So now here, whatever is getting allocated in the stack, when I come out of the function or when I come out of the block, right? Where, 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 where I'm declaring the mem variable, right? When I come out of the function, immediately the stack part of that memory will get released. The stack frame will get released so that your memory, whatever is allocated here is getting released. If at all, any memory that is getting allocated in the heap, that is like if I'm allocating memory during runtime, those memory will get allocated in the heap. So this memory which is allocated in the heap will never get released unless and until I release it explicitly. Now if I want to release it explicitly, I'll be using a function called as free. Now this free function helps me in releasing the memory which is allocated for the pointer PTR. Now here what will happen, when I say free PTR, this memory will get released automatically. This memory will entirely get released. Now this will no more be there. This memory is entirely getting released. Now, after releasing the memory, this memory which is there in the heap will get released. No problem with that, right? So this will get entirely released. Will no more be there. But unfortunately, the pointer which is holding the address will still be holding the address 200, which is not pointed by, which is not there, right? I'm sorry, which is not there. This memory is released. Now, the situation or the scenario when a pointer pointing to a memory location which is released. Now, this pointer is said to be dangling pointer. This pointer is called as dangling pointer. A pointer pointing to a memory location which is released or unallocated, that pointer is called as dangling pointer. This is very dangerous because I am having something which is not there. And I feel that it is there, but it is actually not there. That is a very big problem. So now, as and when you release the memory using free, as and when we release the memory using free, the next line immediate to that, what I need to do is, I need to say, PTR assign null. Now this pointer becomes null, so that it doesn't point anywhere anymore. doesn't point anywhere anymore. Now this doesn't become a dangling pointer. Now if at all I want to release the memory, yes, please go ahead and release. That is the best practice as and when you allocate memory in the heap. If you don't use it anymore, if you don't require it anymore, the first and foremost thing that you need to do is release the memory immediately using a free function. But immediate next to that, what you need to do is you may need to make it as null. If I don't do that, that pointer becomes a dangling pointer. If at all I have done it, now this pointer is no more a dangling pointer. This pointer is safe. Got it? Hope you understood this video. If at all you like this video, please give a thumbs up to me and do subscribe to my channel to get more updates. Thank you very much guys.